This video is sponsored by Surfshark, the best VPN on the market. Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to change your location to access websites in other countries and keep you safe and secure from hackers. Using Surfshark, we here in Ireland can access other countries' Netflix libraries or other streaming platforms like The Zone in Spain for all those important Premier League games. Surfshark keeps you safe and private by protecting everything you do online. Everything. When your device connects to the internet, all that information is, in a way, blurred out. Surfshark is particularly useful for keeping you safe from being hacked if you use public Wi-Fi. Let's say you're in a cafe, you're at college, you're out and about, they've got you covered. Surfshark allows you to use one subscription on unlimited devices, meaning you can share your account with friends or family or that neighbour who's a little bit cheap. On top of all of this, Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can also upgrade to Surfshark 1, which includes the VPN, an alert system for breaches related to your data, such as emails and credit cards, and an antivirus software for your desktop. Our sign-up offer gives you Surfshark VPN for a little over €2 Euro a month and you'll get an additional three months free. Simply scan the QR code on screen right now or use the link in the description and enter the code Anfield Agenda at checkout. So look, as I sit here, I'm recording this on Monday night. So I have no information yet as to what's going on with Alison Becker and Diogo Jota. Now, to be fair, Alison probably wasn't going to be included in this game anyway. So it's just really Diogo Jota we are waiting for. On top of that, the only other injury concerns we know of for Liverpool at the minute are obviously uh, Stefan Bajcetic, Thiago Alcantara and Andy Robertson. So apart from that, it looks like Jurgen Klopp should have a full complement of players to choose from. Caveating, of course, with the information that we don't know what's going on with Jota and Alisson. So let's start off with a score prediction. So what I've gone for for this one is a nice straightforward home win. I've gone for a 3-0 Liverpool victory. And I don't mean to downplay the chances of our opposition, but we should be dealing with these teams at home fairly straightforwardly. And we should be looking to top the group. So I think 3-0 would probably be a fair reflection of what we'll see on the night. But... Let me know if you agree or if you disagree. I think a clean sheet is much needed as well. So why not go optimistic? And if you are going to the game, make sure you get behind the boys. Sing as loud as you can and hopefully enjoy some good football. So now we move to the starting 11. And um, what have I gone with for this one? Well, let's have a look as we always start off with the goalkeeper and the centre-backs. So it's Cuevin Kelleher in goal for me. And it was a difficult decision here to pick the centre-backs. I think the best partnership we have available to the manager at the minute and one that's doing well for us is Matip and Van Dijk. That's not to underplay Ibrahim Kanade, but I'm a big believer if you're playing well, the shirt is yours until you drop in form. And Matip's been really good. So I think bring in Ibrahim Kanade, put him alongside young Gerald Kwanzaa with Cuevin Kelleher in goal. And I think that'll be somewhat close to the pairing or the, the choice that we'll see Jurgen Klopp make. Uh, maybe you guys have a different thought. Again, let me know. Moving to the fullback positions now. Who have I gone for here? Well, you probably won't be too surprised to see that neither Costa Simicus or Trent Alexander-Arnold are in the team. I would like to rest those gentlemen up ahead of the Premier League game on Sunday. So what I've gone for is Joe Gomez to come in on the right side, like we've seen him do previously, even to play that dual role that he does occasionally, slipping into midfield. And on the left, continue to give a run out to young Chambers. Um, this should be the type of competition where we give the youngsters chances. We're at home in front of a packed Anfield, so let's give the kid a chance again, get behind him and hope that we continue to see him progressing. He is a really highly thought of young man. He was wanted by Xavi Alonso on loan at Leverkusen at one point and yes we've seen him this season and yes he did make a mistake in that game but ultimately he's a youngster these things are going to happen but this is what we should be using the Europa League group stage for so my back four is Chambers on the left hand side Joe Gomez on the right with Ibrahim Akanade and Gerald Kwanzaa in the centre back positions now we move into midfield and I don't think you're going to be too surprised at what I've gone for here. It's a mixture of youth and experience or, uh, well, I wouldn't say youth. It's a mixture of people who aren't getting a lot of game time and experience. So what have I gone with? Let's have a look. 
it's going to be Endo in the defensive midfield position, right? We need him to get some minutes, and this seems a perfectly good chance, uh, opportunity to do it. So Endo in the holding midfield position. I've gone for Harvey Elliott on the right side of midfield and Ryan Gravenberg on the left side. Not because I don't think Gravenberg will be playing at the weekend, but because, you know, he only came off the bench in the last game. So why not give him the first 60-65 in this one? And I think that's a midfield that will get the job done. I'm a big fan of Harvey Elliott. I think he's continuously progressing. His statistics are excellent. His pressing is excellent. And I think he'll complement Ryan Gravenberg, who's also been a breath of fresh air since he's come to the football club. We really are making Bayern Munich look pretty foolish at the minute for willing to sell him to us. But, you know, we'll take it. So Endo in the holding midfield position. Harvey Elliott on the right-hand side and Ryan Gravenberg on the left. Now, of course, we move into attack and this is where... This is where you're going to be asking me, Craig, have you gone for Darwin? Have you gone for Mohamed Salah? What have you done? So we'll start off in the wide positions like we always do. I'm going to back Ben Doak to get another opportunity from Jurgen and to show us what he can do. Obviously, he had been out for a while pulling up uh, on the under-21 action for Scotland, which stopped him getting his first senior cap at the time. But he is back training, so I'm going to have Ben Doak on the right side for me. And on the left, I think it has to be Lucho. He came off the bench against Manchester City, so he should be fresh enough for this one. And I think we need to get Lucho's confidence up as well, get him back into goal-scoring form and uh, continue his good progression at the football club. So for me, Lucho on the left-hand side and Ben Doak on the right. Of course, there are other options. Maybe Klopp will look to utilise Elliot further up the pitch and bring Dominic Sobosly into midfield. But for me, I think, again, this is a good mix of youthful exuberance and... Uh, a player on the left hand side and Lucho who let's be honest excites us all when he's playing so Lucho on the left and Ben Doak on the right and all that remains to be seen is who goes through the centre I don't think you're going to be too surprised with this one I've gone for Cody Gakpo to go through the centre. Um, I still think his best position is link-up play between midfield and attack or maybe coming off the left-hand side as we'd seen him do when he was playing in the Eredivisie. So I'd give Cody Gakpo the start here. I don't like to use the likes of Mohamed Salah, Darwin Nunes, Dominic Soboslai, Virgil van Dijk. I don't like to see them playing in the Europa League group stages. Uh, if we're at home, I expect Jurgen to have quite a strong bench because the lads don't have to travel for that. But I do think think this will be somewhat close to the 11 that we see maybe you guys have some suggestions for uh, players you'd like to see in different positions always feel free to let us know in the comment section but just to confirm this is my Liverpool 11 to take on last glint I'm predicting one a 3-0 victory and Quivian Kelleher in goal Joe Gomez at right back Luke Chambers at left back uh, centre-back pairing of Ibrahim Kanada and Gerald Kwanzaa in the holding midfield position, Endo, and then Harvey Elliott and Ryan Gravenberg ahead of them. And up top, Ben Doak on the right, Lucho on the left, and Cody Gakpo through the centre. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And again, just a reminder, we will be live on Anfield Agenda an hour before kickoff on Thursday, so 7pm. If you'd like to catch up on some other European action during the week, I will be live on our second channel, Top of the League, on Tuesday for the game between PSG and Newcastle. And then myself and Adam will be doing another joint watch-along together of Manchester United's trip over to take on Galatasaray. Both those games you can find on our second channel, Top of the League. And then we'll be back on Thursday, right here, same time, same place. Tomorrow, if you want to see us live, half past six, I'll be doing the late night again the stream tomorrow so i hope you can join us for that one as well until then much love to you all enjoy your evening wherever you're watching in the world and thank you for your subscription to the channel thank you for supporting what we do we really appreciate it talk to you then bye bye